Hey guys, welcome to part two of my draft rattle tutorial. We already have our base down and in this video, I am filming it a week later. So I already went ahead and wrote down my pattern for the ears and the horn. So I have that right here and I just fixed it up. So this video will be easy on me. But um, yeah, if I can't get this all in part two, I'm probably going to put this one in part three because I was having issues downloading this, uh, the one for this because this video took forever. But yeah, I'll try to get these to fit in one video, but let's first start off with the ears here so let's get some yellow yarn we're creating this ear first but i wanted to mention that i feel like it doesn't look exactly like the first ear that i made when i crocheted it for my friend but if you remember from the first video i did mention that i did do that freehand and i never wrote down the pattern and that's why i'm trying to do it here now but yeah it doesn't look exactly the same but i think it looks good enough so let's go ahead and start off with our yellow yarn and we're starting off by creating a magic circle and you're just going to place your yarn on your hand or your fingers. I like to put it on my three fingers in the front and then I'll take the yarn, wrap it over to create that X. I'll bring my yarn down, hold it with my pinky, and then I'll take my crochet hook, go inside the circle, grab that front X, pull it through. I now have a loop on the hook. I'm going to go back to this yarn and I just go under and I'll pull that yarn through. I'll let go really quick so you can see there's my circle and then I'll just tighten everything up and now we'll single crochet six times into the circle. So before we get started I do like to pull on this yarn to make the ring a little bit smaller because I do like to work into a tighter space because I feel like it's just easier to have control but now let's single crochet six times into our circle. Take your crochet hook, go inside your circle, grab that yarn and pull it through. I'm going to move a little bit faster in this video because um, it's kind of a repeat yarn over and then pull through your two loops. That's a single crochet because this is the, kind of how we started off in the last round. So that was my first one or when we made the head of the draft. It's the same start. So two, three, four, five, and then on my sixth one, I like to close up the circle. And then do my last single crochet. And that's the end of round one. I am going to be putting a stitch marker into that last stitch only because I always lose track of count when I am talking and filming a video. But in round two, let's go ahead and single crochet into the next two stitches, increase, and then you're going to repeat only one time because that's all the stitches that will be remaining. And then you'll have eight stitches in total. So. Let's go ahead and start off by single crocheting into the uh, first two stitches. So just do one single crochet into each of those. Just push a crochet hook through that stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through. You have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through the two loops. That was one. Going into the next one and doing the same thing. Now into the third stitch, you're going to increase with a single crochet. So let's go into that stitch. Do our first single crochet and then one more into the same stitch to make that an increase. And then now you just have to repeat that one more time. So let's just go ahead and do a single crochet into the next stitch and then into the following do the same thing. And then remove your stitch marker and increase into that last stitch. And you should have eight stitches in total in this round. So that was round two and now for the rest of it we're basically doing the same thing it's just that you're increasing each time so you can see this goes from three four five and six so let's just go ahead and go to round three now and do a single crochet into the next three stitches so here's one two three and then you'll be increasing into the next stitch. So this one here, let's do two single crochets into that stitch. One, two. And then you'll just repeat that one more time. So you're just gonna single crochet basically before the stitch marker. And then once, once you get to the stitch marker, you'll remove it and do an increase. And I will do this off camera because I'm trying to fit both this and the horn into the video. Okay, so after you finish round three, you should have 10 stitches in total. Round four, let's go ahead and do a single crochet into the next four stitches. So here's one, 
This is two, three, a single crochet into the fourth. So we just did our four single crochets and then into the next stitch you're going to do an increase. Let's go into that stitch. There's our first single crochet and do another one into the same stitch. And now you're just going to repeat that one more time and then in this round you should end up with 12 stitches in total in round four. Now moving on to round five, we're going to single crochet into the next five stitches. That was my first. Here's my second. Third. Fourth. And fifth. And then you're going to um, increase into the next stitch. So into this one here, we're going to do two single crochets. There goes my first. And my second. So we did a single crochet of five and then we increase into that next stitch. Now you just have to repeat that one more time and you'll have 14 stitches in total in round five. Okay, so now I finished round five. I have my 14 stitches going on to round six, which is also our last increasing round. We're gonna go ahead and single crochet into the next six stitches. So that was one, two, three, four, five, and six. Next, you're going to increase into that next stitch here. I did my first single crochet and doing another one into the same stitch. Now you're just going to repeat that one more time and then you should have 16 stitches in total in round six. So remember, just single crochet into the next six stitches. Once you reach the stitch marker, go ahead and increase into that stitch. Now that we have all of our increasing rounds, we're going to move on to decreasing. We only have two rounds. I did write a normal decrease here, but I did do an invisible decrease. And this is just like my rough draft. I'm just showing you guys in case you wanted to see my process but um so for this round it's round seven and we're going to single crochet into the next six stitches and then decrease so we're basically just doing this but the opposite um so let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna single crochet into the next six stitches one two three four five and six and then if you remember from the first video an invisible decrease is going through the front loop only so let's go into our next two stitches here let's take our crochet hook go into the front loop of that next stitch i was gonna say first stitch but the next stitch and then you'll bend your hook down go into the following stitch going through the middle you have your three loops on the hook let's yarn over and pull through the first two loops you have two loops left on the hook, let's yarn over and pull through the last two. So now you're just going to repeat that one more time and this time you should have 14 stitches in total in this round. Also, I'm just stuffing the yarn back in there because it's getting in my way. But I'm gonna go ahead and single crochet the six stitches off camera and then I'll come back to show you the decrease once more. So after you single crochet your six stitches, let's go ahead and remove the stitch marker. You should have two stitches left, so there and where the stitch marker is. And then let's do our last invisible decrease. So go into that front loop only of that stitch, bend your hook down, and do the same thing to the following stitch. There's our three loops on the hook, let's yarn over, pull through the first two. You have two loops left, let's yarn over and pull through the last two. And this time you should have your, or now you should have your 14 stitches, and we can go ahead and move on to round eight, which is our last decreasing round. For round eight, we're single crocheting into the next five stitches. You're gonna decrease, repeat that once, and then you'll have 12 stitches left or it's 12 stitches in that round. But let's go ahead and do our five single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Then let's go ahead and do our invisible decrease. Going into the front loop, bend my hook down, do the same thing to the following stitch. Three loops on the hook, yarning over pulling through the first two stitches, two loops left, yarn over, and pull through those last two loops. Now just repeat that one more time until you get your 12 stitches in total in round eight. 
Okay, so I just finished that last round. This is what the ear looks like. Also, I realized that my finger looks really dry. Like, I've been washing my hands excessively. And yes, I do use oil. I have my oil right here, but um, I don't know. My hands are just really dry right now, so please excuse that. Okay, so now that we have that ear done, let's go ahead and cut off some yarn. You will need to leave some extra, extra yarn because we're going to be using that to, of course, sew on to the head. So let's, I'm going to cut off about this much. So we, um, once you cut that off, you can just pull the yarn out because we're going to sew it anyway, so it doesn't need to be too secure here. But that is what the ear looks like, and then basically you just, you can maneuver it to fold down. You can push it down a little bit if you feel like it's too pointy, and that is what the ear looks like. So now let's go ahead and, oops, let's go ahead and make this little horn. This one is going to be a little bit harder because it's so tiny, so you will have to hold it kind of, um, well, you'll see. So to start off with the horn, we're going to be using our brown yarn, and you can see here that I started off with a magic circle, then single crocheted five times. It's a little bit harder because we're going to be working into smaller spaces, so you'll just have to take your time a bit. And let's go ahead and do our magic circle. So I'm going a little bit faster this time. I'm just going to take my yarn, wrap it around my fingers to create that X. Then I'll take my crochet hook, go inside the circle, pull that yarn through, I'll go back to this yarn, yarn over, or I'm going under, but um, you can just now pull through, and then you have your magic circle. And then remember, this time it's only a single crochet of five, so let's go ahead and do that. So that's one, two, three, four, and this time it's only five single crochets. Now is when I'll pull my yarn to close up the circle and then do my last single crochet. And that is the end of round one. For round two, we're just going to increase into each one of these stitches. I'm not going to put a stitch marker because I will be able to keep track of this, but if you like, go ahead and put a stitch marker into that last stitch. And remember, an increase is just two single crochets. So let's go into that stitch. Well, we're increasing with the single crochet, so for this specific project, but um, go ahead and... Oops, I don't think I went through the whole stitch. Okay, there's my first single crochet and my second into the same stitch. Remember, we're just increasing all the way through. So I'll go into the next stitch on camera and then the rest I'll do off camera. So I just did my first single crochet and my second into that next stitch. So go ahead and increase into all of those stitches and you'll have 10, a count of 10 at the end. So this is what it looks like so far and now we're going to move on to round three where we're just going to single crochet this entire round and you'll end up with a count of 10 because you're not changing anything so um since we already know how to single crochet i will do this off camera but i'll just go into the first few with you guys so remember just single crochet this entire round also i did put my stitch marker in because when i'm talking sometimes i just lose track of uh, my stitch count. So anyways, I'll go ahead and single this, single crochet this round and then I'll be right back. So I did my round of single crochets with that brown and as you can see now we're going to switch to yellow and we're color changing. I hate color changing because I don't think I do it that great but I'll show you guys how I do mine. And what we're going to do is let's grab our yellow yarn. I'm going to be switching to yellow. So what we did here was our uh, 10 in that round. So what we need to do for color change is actually remove this last stitch. So, well, I show it this way because it's easier, but just remove that last stitch. And then you're still going in with the brown. So just after you remove the stitch, go in with, uh, go take your crochet hook, put it into that loop. You're going to go into that last stitch again, grab that yarn, pull it through. But this time, instead of going in with the brown, let's take our yellow yarn. And then now we're just going to take the yellow yarn and pull it through. And that's how we're color changing. So you still have your 10th stitch with the brown, but now you just have the yellow. And then we're going to take some scissors and cut off the brown. Leave some space or some extra yarn so you can just tie the yellow and the brown together to make sure that it's secured. And then with this, these pieces right here, you can just stuff it back into the ear. Um, it is going to be a little bit hard because obviously it's, the ear is like so tiny. But um, now let's just go ahead and work with our yellow yarn. 
and as you can see with the yellow we're going to be decreasing now so it's going to be a little bit hard but let me pause this video really quick sorry i just had to pause the video really quick but now with our yellow yarn we're going to be decreasing for two rounds and then we'll do a single crochet and then we'll be done but as you can see we're going back to a smaller stitch count so let's go ahead and decrease first also um let me put my stitch marker back in so you'll put it into that last stitch here and we will be doing an invisible decrease so let's go into our next two stitches and the way i hold this because it's so small is just basically my a thumb on the bottom and then my pointer finger at the top and then just go ahead and go into the front loops of your two stitches grab that yellow yarn pull it through the first two loops we have your two loops left, yarn over and pull through your last two loops. And that was our first decrease. Now we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. That was my first one. My second. And my third. And then you'll just repeat that until you get eight stitches in total. I will show the decrease since it's up next. But um, I know it's a little bit hard because it is brown yarn, so it's kind of harder to see. But go into your front loop to do your decrease and then to the following. There's your three loops on the hook. Yarn over. Pull through the first two loops. You have two loops left. Yarn over. Pull through your last two. And then you'll just single crochet all the way till the end. And then you'll have eight stitches. This is what it looks like after we finish our yellow round. I think it looks pretty good. So now let's go on and move on to round five. We're going to decrease first, single crochet into the next two, repeat one time, end up with six stitches. So let's go ahead and do our invisible, dec in invisible decrease. Okay, so now that the circle is a little bit smaller, I kind of hold it like this, this time on the sides, my thumb and pointer finger on the sides. And I'll just kind of squeeze it and then do the invisible yarning over oh this yarn's in the way okay now yarning <coughs> yarning oh i'm losing my voice okay yarning over pulling through two loops left yarn over pull through the last two and then now we single crochet into the next two stitches again i know it's hard to see one And then we'll have to decrease once more. So you can see these two stitches here. Let's go into the front loop of those. Again, I'm holding it from the sides. There's my three loops on the hook, yarning over, pulling those, pulling through those first two loops last two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two. And then you'll just single crochet into the last two stitches, so that one here, and then where the stitch marker is. All right, that's what it looks like so far. And then just for some added length, we're gonna do one round, and it's also our last round of just single crocheting. So just single crochet six times, and then we will be done with this horn. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I just hold it from the side like this, and then just single crochet six. So that was one. two, three, and then I'll do the rest off camera and I'll be right back. This is what the horn looks like after you finish your single crochet round. I have my single crochet of six into the last one. Now let's take our scissors and cut off some of the yarn. You will need some access to sew onto the head, so just remember that. And then you can just pull this out of the loop. And that is your horn. Now of course you need two of each of the pieces. And then once you're done, this is what it'll look like. We have our face for the head. The ears will go like this. Oh my gosh, it's coming together. Now that we have all of these pieces, I'm going to be working on the face in part three. Hopefully I can fit everything in one video, but I'm really excited because I think it looks really good. Again, I don't think it looks the exact same. I think what's throwing me off is because um, the one that I made for my friend, I feel like the face wasn't as round. I think this one is really round because of that ball that I used, but um, it still looks good. I feel like you can see, even though I have it laid down flat like that, like that, <laughs> um, it still looks like you can get the whole picture of it. Also, I feel like the ears are throwing me off. But yeah, I think it does look good. Again, this is freehand, so don't judge it too much. But I'll see you guys in part three where we're going to be working on the face.